Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome back to Timberborn. So this is the wonderful settlement builder game, where everything is made of wood, because the settlement isn't full of humans, oh no, it's full of beavers, lumberpunk beavers to be slightly more exact, which I just think is a very wonderful concept, I do like that. So they've taken a settlement builder, there's lots of those around, they have twisted just one aspect of it, so they've taken the people out, and they've replaced the people with beavers, lumberpunk punk beavers it's important to point out the lumber punkness of the beavers and then you have something very unique indeed i do like that i think it's a very good idea so we have played this before if you're looking at this and you're thinking hang on a minute i recognize this uh, that's because we did play it on the channel way back at the end of november 2019 but it has been updated an awful lot since then. It's been updated loads. I've got new graphics and new maps and new building options. Some of the mechanics have changed. Loads of work has gone into it. And now the game is going into closed beta. And I thought, you know what? This looks like a good time to go and have a look at the game now because it has moved on quite a bit since we last played it. So this is the closed beta version that we're looking at. Therefore, it is a beta. So this is not representative of the final game. This isn't the finished thing before it actually gets released you know, fully and properly. I imagine there's going to be an awful lot of changes so yeah this is a beta version so it's not the finished version but the closed beta does start today on June the 18th and it is running through to the 16th of July and if you like you can sign up and then you may be able to have a go at the closed beta for your very self which is very exciting so uh, yeah there is a link to the sign up form in the video description so if you're interested go and fill that in and then you may well be selected to join the closed beta and have a little go at Timberborn on your own which is splendid and as always there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you want to go and check out Timberborn and wishlist it and all that kind of stuff and we were given a key to this by the developers which is very lovely so thank you very much devs that's very splendid of you so without any further dilly dallying let's just get lumber punking shall we okay so we've got to set up our game so we have to choose what race of beaver we want to play as we have a choice between the common beaver so they lead a healthy balanced lifestyle they have no pros and no cons they're just entirely entirely ordinary or we have eager beavers they require very little sleep but consume more food now i remember remember playing this last time that food was quite hard to come by it was quite tricky to get now maybe that's been rebalanced in this latest version that we're playing now I don't know but I think let's play it safe and just go down the route of common beavers please we'll just go you know down the ordinary nice safe route and then we get to select a map now I don't think this was in it before so we've got a choice of canyon islands which is twice the size of the other maps or waterfalls now I know canyons as recommended I know it's recommended but I want to go for waterfalls because it sounds nice. We're going to go a little bit rogue. We're going to ignore the recommendations of the game. We're going to go for waterfalls. And um, because reason number one, it sounds nice because waterfalls are nice. Um, but number two, if there's waterfalls, there must be water. And beavers are quite famous for building dams and building things in the water. So I kind of want to go and do that and build things on the water, which I think we now can do. I think that's been added into the game, which is very good. So well, yeah, there we go. We shall play as common beavers on the waterfalls map. Okay, here we go. So we've got our little building here. What is this? This is the labor house. So this employs laborers who cut trees, build buildings, and transport goods. Okay, this is very important then. So this is where all the actual sort of, you know, the graft happens. And then we've got all the little beavers have come out of here. So hello, you guys are, these are all the brave lumberpunk beavers. They've come over here into lands unknown, and they're going to set up a new settlement. They're in uncharted territory. So uh, the space bar is paused, which I do like. So who do we have? It looks like we have six adults and four children. Does that pan out? Oh, we've got seven adults and four children. I can't see where the seventh adult might be. Maybe they've kind of merged in with another one or whatever. Um, so they're putting down little, what are they? Patches, like vegetable patches or something? What's that? A sleeping mat. Ah, right. Okay, yes. Now, of course, yeah, we need to build them places to sleep. So they need houses. And the beavers do have their own sort of little requirements. I like the way that this one's just sort of sat down in the door, just waiting for something to do. So they all have their own requirements. They have hunger, they have thirst, they have sleep, they need fun, they need certain levels of nutrition and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so yeah, we need to make sure that we take care of their needs. So job number one, I think is going to be set up a very basic infrastructure to uh, store things that we're going to be gathering. So storing some, I think they, they put food in here. 
yeah, there's a capacity in here. So we'll store food in there. But then we want to get ourselves like a little sort of uh, little lumber yard type thing where they can store logs and maybe a warehouse as well. And then we also want to get them access to some water. So let's see if we can do both of those things. So uh, food and drink must be down here somewhere. Food and water. There we go. Um, yeah, a watering place. Let's get one of those in first because that's probably very, very important. So do you know what? Should we get two? Let's get a couple of these in, actually. We'll put one uh, We'll put one right there. And can we put another one? Can we put another one just right next to it? Yeah, there we go. We'll put two next to each other. And then we'll get ourselves a path. And we'll run the path all the way up to here. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. That is a straight line that can go to there. There we go. So it's just a little path. It's just a hardened path that's faster to walk on. So it's just a dirt path. Now, I think last time they had to build this, didn't they? Then they build that, but now they don't need to, which is lovely. So the path goes straight in. And then we want to get ourselves some storage things. So uh, a log pile, that's it. Let's put the log pile, let's put that kind of central. So put that kind of in the middle, because if we're building over here and the log piles over here, they're going to have to kind of keep walking quite a long way. So we'll put the log pile at the back, just here. And then what else have we got as well? And a small warehouse. That might also be a sensible thing for us to get constructed. So there we go. And then we'll try and connect that up with a path if we can. So let's run that. Let's run that right round there. I know it goes on someone's sleeping mat. I do apologise. Sorry about that. There we go. So we've got a little basic infrastructure thing set up. And then we want to get some houses. Because this lot aren't going to be very happy unless they've got houses to live in. Um, so let's have a look. Right, how big are the houses? So a lodge. Okay, so it can have two adults and one child. Okay, so we need a few of these. Okay, so they are two by two. I wonder if we can make ourselves a little, sort of a little road kind of system with these. So we can sort of have like closes and things like that. Um, how about we get a bit there. So if we come back around this way, and then we have ourselves a path going up to here. Um, oh, hang on, There's a, how, what's that? There's some steps there. Maybe we should connect the path up to that. And then we'll just have lodges along here and then maybe lodges along that side as well. And this can be a little sort of crossroads. That's quite nice. OK, so let's get these lodge things in then. So we'll put one just there and we'll kind of have one facing, which is nice. So we'll have four of those and that should be enough for everybody. Now, one thing they have done that they've introduced to the game is a stacking concept. Now, I don't know if we can look at it right now because nothing is constructed, but you can stack buildings on top of other buildings. Now, obviously, you can't stack anything on top of that because it's not the right type. But you can stack these things up, which is brilliant. I do like that. You can stack up the buildings and have your know, different doorways going different ways and all that sort of stuff. So we'll see that. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, no, they do have to build these little bits. They do have to build the path. Oh, OK, fine. Well, there we go. So they've got plenty to do. They've got plenty to do. However, we also need to tell them to go and actually get some resources. So let's go to here and let's cut down mature trees and plants. Now, yes, we might want to get, I assume they're berry bushes. Yeah, mature blueberries. Delicious. OK, so let's grab ourselves. Um, let's just go from there and we'll just grab anything that is mature enough to be actually cut down there. OK, and then we can move Tom on nice and quick. And they're going to be able to build utterly nothing right now because they have no resources. But if we can get this built, there we go. We have a watering hole. So important thing number one is done. They can go and get a drink. And they're already doing it. Hello there. Who are you? Who are you there? This is Ila, maybe. You're five days old and you live on sleeping mat. That's not good enough, is it? That's not good enough. We need to make that a lot better. Um, there we go. Yes, yeah, so they are. They are building the path. I think maybe when you go to that, yeah, okay, right. So yeah, the completed path is that colour and the incomplete path is that kind of very sort of, yeah, almost sort of ghosty colour. They're like the blueprints that aren't done yet. And then you come out of that and then you can see the work that does need to be done. But okay, they're getting on with it. Now we've got two drinking spots, which is very good. And then, yeah, they're going to slowly start getting on with things. Right, there we go. We've got the warehouse done. And I wonder, can we look at the stacking with the warehouse? I imagine we can. Yeah, look, there you go. You can stack it on top, which is brilliant. I think that's very exciting. You can't stack it sideways. So it's got to have the same sort of uh, you know, footprint underneath. But I think even we can stack it that way. So there can be a door going into it that way. And of course, they need a way to get in. And I think that is in paths and structures. I think you can build like foot bridges and things like that. Now, there is another thing we need to do. You can see there, click to unlock for 120 science points. We do need to actually get ourselves some science points underway. 
Now, where were they? Science, there we go. The thing that looks like an atom. Um, so yeah, an inventor's hut. We need one of our people to become an inventor. So where should we put the inventor's hut? Let's put that there. Let's pop that just there. And then we'll have another little bit of, uh, a little bit of path just sort of running past that house. So we'll have ourselves a little sort of, uh, little kind of crossroads bit over there somewhere. Uh, right, okay. Move time on nice and quick. How's, how are the blueberries looking? 23 berries. There are 23 berries left. Oh, and they're all just sleeping outdoors. I'm very sorry. Look, you've got houses scheduled to be built. If you get on with it, if everyone goes and lops down a load of trees, you'll all be fine. Go and get a drink. That's absolutely fine. There are some berries to be uh, gathered as well. If you could go and gather those, that would be great. But uh, yeah, they're all over here. What are they doing? Are oh, they working on the path? They're working on the path. Okay, maybe we should have done the houses first. But I think they are getting on with the houses. Yeah, the logs are coming in. The logs are coming in. So yeah, at least we're going to have... By the end of this day, it'd be nice to have at least a couple of houses done. It'd be nice if we had two little lodges. Well, there's lodge number one. There is lodge number one all set up. And um, yet we can we can stack these as well. So we can stack the houses, which I do like. Now, can we stack if we have a... If they complete that one, can they complete that one first? No, another day rolls by. Oh, no. Have we got any berries? Have we got any berries at all? Oh, no, right, we're going to run out of berries. <laughs> we're going to run out of food at the end of day two. We've got one berry. There's one blueberry in there. That's all there is. One tiny blueberry. Um, yeah, they're, they're, we've got them to try and retrieve a lot of berries. Hopefully they're going to run out and do the berries rather than the logs. We shall have to see. In fact, hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we, can we belay these orders? Don't, don't cut any of those things down or those or those because we need we need the berries we need food now please food has become really important there's no food somebody's had the last berry right eight berries have gone in ten berries nine berries okay right they're gathering food this is very very good and as soon as we get our houses and stuff in we are going to want to um, start thinking about growing food because that's obviously key that's very very important so let's see then um are they getting these last houses done? Oh, no, because now we've, they're not chopping anything down. Hang on, hang on. Right, and then we can go back to doing that again and say, right, get us a load of uh, get us a load of logs again, and then you can build some more stuff. Now, what I do want to see is, can we, if they finish one of these buildings... Right, splendid. So we know we can build a house on top of this because that's the same size. Can we put a house in the middle? Yes, we can. Can we stack other things on top of this? If we wanted to put a warehouse on there, can we... <gasps> We can. So as long as it's got the same size sort of, yeah, footprint underneath it, you can build other things on top. Oh, that's very exciting. So like an inventor, so could we build that on the top? Yes. Oh, that is brilliant. Oh, I do like that. So you can have these big kind of towering cities. You could have towers, big towering places. Rather than you know, being a sprawling sort of out really far, really wide, they could just be really tall. Oh, yes, that's very good. I do like that. Um, so we've got a couple of things left to get finished. How are the berries looking? 33. Okay, that's a little bit healthier, isn't it? I like that. Right, let's look at getting some extra stuff in. So food and water. We've got the watering places. So carrot fields and potato fields. And then a grill as well. A grill was really good, wasn't it? A grill was very important. How about we have farming over here? Let's put farming over here. Because um, these will be gone anyway. So we'll chop all these down. They'll all be gone. So yeah, we'll have some farms over here. So let's get some paths in place. Like so. And then we'll have ourselves... Maybe we'll put the... Let's have a little path going through there, actually. Just in case we build something up here. And then, if we go back into food and water, we'll have the grill sort of on this corner here. So pop the grill just there. And then... Can we just have the fields this way? Oh, okay, right. I'd forgotten how big the fields were. They're quite big fields. We'll have a carrot field just there. And we will have a potato field just there. Okay. And then what we might do is if we build that bit to there. Imagine we can't build through those trees just yet. Um, but then could we have ourselves that? Yeah. Can we change the way that path works? Can we change that path? be nice to change that path because then that could come straight down here and go along there can we dismantle the path now it's in can we do that delete buildings um yeah it looks like we can so let's get the new path in 
So that path can come straight down here, apart from there's a bush in the way. Away with you, bush. Uh, hang on, hang on, let, let's get the bush done. Let's just cut down uh, that to get rid of it. Okay, right, move time on again. It's going to go to night time. Food's looking okay. Food's looking absolutely fine. I think we'll be okay for a couple of days with food. And we have got two more bushes that need to be harvested. So we should be okay. They're going and getting all their water, which is very nice. And I think, have they all been able to go home? No, not, not quite everybody. There's a couple. There's a couple of people out of here. But at least the kids have got a roof over their heads, which is nice. The three children now do have roofs over their heads, which is lovely. So yay, that's very good. So Zernagath and Kizzy live outside currently. But yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it, you two. It's fine. I mean, yeah, if they get on with this, if they can actually get on with chopping down all those trees you'd have a house. So that will be splendid. So let's move time on. And I like the fact that it's got a, a proper super speedy move time on thing as well. It's got to multiply by seven. Not just, yeah, it's not like move time on one, two or three speed. It's like seven speed, which is brilliant. I was going to say you need a drink there, Zernagath, but you have gone to get yourself a drink, which is marvellous. Okay, well, there we go. A house is done. So we should now have, we've got nine and eight, two and two and four. Oh, hang on. It's one of the has one of the children grown up and become an adult? Okay. Oh, that's that's interesting then. Um, so does that mean we have nine adults and eight housing and two children and four housing? Yeah. Yes. And that's what it means. Each house can hold one child. So there's four. Okay. So we're still going to have... We're still going to have a, a person that's homeless. Okay. Fine. We need to look at that then. You need to chop down some more trees if you would be so kind. Yeah, come on, you beavers. That's what you do. You do it all day. <laughs> that is that is your job. You just you just chop down trees. Okay, so if they get these done, get those three done. We should. What are they doing? They're putting it into the grill. Yeah. We could have done with the fields being done before the grills. Because we are probably going to run out of food again. Okay, right. That thing means that the tree is unreachable. It's unreachable. Why are they unreachable things? Do they need a path connected to that to be able to go up onto these levels, maybe? Maybe that's what they need. Okay, right, we'll cancel that because that's not going to help anybody, is it? So there we go. That's just confusing the beavers. The beavers are now all confused. Right, there's a load of berries over here. Let's just go and grab all of those things there and those trees at the back as well. So go and grab those. They can get to those. So that makes a bit more sense. Yeah, I wonder if they need something special to be able to go up those little steps either a path going to them or maybe they're not finished or something we need to sort of repair them or whatever there's a natural walkable ramp i don't quite know why they couldn't go up there then okay never mind whatever they're they're getting some more stuff we could do with them getting some food i mean berries would be really useful <laughs> can we have another worker please can we have a worker there we go thank you so nobody is jobless six out of eight people at the labor house hang on Hang on, how many workers have we got? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's the ten adults. That's all we can do. So one works at the grill. Now you're not going to be doing anything for ages. No, can we Can we close this? Can we close the grill? Um, was it that to close the grill? Yeah, we don't need anybody working at the grill because that grills potatoes. But we haven't got any potatoes yet. So that person could be better used somewhere else going to help building and all that kind of stuff and gathering resources. And you two are indeed growing some delicious carrots, which is very nice. We, we do need you to get over here and get some berries. Sort of right now. Nope, you, you've decided to forego the berries. And, oh, because I told them to build a path, didn't I? I told them to build a path. Right, everyone, please don't get too hungry and try and stay alive until the morning. And then you can get delicious berries. Our beavers are happier than ever. We have reached a new well-being high score, which is number four. Okay, oh, we've got little goals, have we? Ah, okay, right. So if we reach an average well-being of eight, then we can have eager beavers. So it must have remembered our progress from last time, which is fine. And then the fancy beavers, uh, we need 11. We need 11 and we need to be playing as eager beavers. So never mind, that's absolutely fine. But there we go, little goals. We still have four unreachable trees. Why are they unreachable? Is it because they can't get through some other trees? Is it because it's too far away from the labour house? Ah, the labour house has a range. Okay, does it extend its range by building paths? Okay, right, there we go. That kind of makes sense. I get that now, I see. Okay, the potato field is up and running. It's very slow to grow potatoes. Carrots are 27% through. You're a bit hungry. 
Kizzy, you're a little bit hungry. Have we got any berries? No, we do not. Okay, right, hang on. <laughs> we, we're struggling for food already. We're struggling for food already. We've not really started. Is there anything else we can do in here? What else can we do? It's just a grill. Grill, potato field, carrot field. Um, yeah, like the water pump would be nice to have. But yeah, we don't need it right now. And then yeah, wheat fields and eventually we'd get bread and all that kind of stuff. Um, okay, right now they can get some stuff from there. And let's also get them to... Let's just cut down everything over there. Just, just get rid of all that stuff just there. Including the berry bushes. Because that could be really handy. And I think they're going to get the berry bushes right now. Please put some berries in there. There's only six berries. Please bring more. 12. That, that's better than the 16. That's even better. How quickly are the carrots growing? Only 34%. Oh, it's very slow. It's very slow going. Okay, what we need is a path. A good old path. So bring the path that way. And we might be able to reach in there and get those berries. And that might keep us going until the carrot field is done. That might just keep us ticking over. Wasn't there like a little campfire thing that we could that we could sit round. Is it leisure? Yeah, campfire. Maybe we could put one of those in. Where could we put a campfire? I kind of feel like it needs to be in the middle. I, I, do you know what? Why not there? Hang on, it could fit just here actually quite nicely. Um, yeah, let's pop a little campfire in there. They can all go and sit round that and, you know, toast marshmallows or whatever they've got. Well, actually, no, not marshmallows. Blueberries! That's what they've got a lot of. They're going to toast some blueberries around the campfire. <laughs> That good old classic tradition of toasting blueberries. Um, and then, um, there you go. I was going to say, I bet it'll be done pretty quick. There it is. It's done. Oh, and you're just having a little sit. Ruel Boquez. You're one day old. Oh, I've got a new little person in there. Hello. Hello, baby beaver. Do we need to get another house? I feel like we need another house now. Let's get another lodge. In fact, let's get another two lodges. There we go. Many, many lodges could be constructed. And I think, yeah, there's plenty of logs in there. So they can just run in and get that sorted pretty quickly, I would have thought. Yep, there we go. That one is built. And um, how are we looking for berries? 18 berries. How are the carrots looking? Oh, not even half. Not even halfway through for the carrots. Oh, dear. Let's get another carrot field in. Let's get another carrot field just here because we've got the space for it because we cleared all this space out. And then we will put, if I click the right button, another path kind of coming this way with the idea being that we can link that up and have a little sort of farming square. That's the kind of plan. I imagine are you can do the paths first or are you building this first? Oh, I don't know. One of them just sort of stood there. I don't know what they were doing. They're just sort of standing there. What are you doing? What are you guys up to? You're just sort of sitting about. I don't really know what the plan that you're, what you're doing. I don't know what you're up to. Uh, okay, let's get rid of, we need some more wood, I think. Yeah, okay, we're out of wood. So let's get ourselves some more wood from, I mean, can any of those be cut down now? Yeah, get rid of those ones. And then also anything up here, please, like that. Um, oh, apart from we've got various unreachable ones again. So not those, not those, not those, and probably not those ones as well. Oh, hang on a minute. We'll just drag that. There we go. Um, unreachable trees, where? Oh no, hang on, that should go away. There we go. So we're still grabbing berries, just to make sure that people don't starve to death. How are we looking for berries? 17. We need those carrots. We need the carrots to be growing really right now. Chuck some fertilizer on them or something. Even though they're living on a diet of blueberries, which that can't be good. That can't be good. I mean, I'm glad we haven't got toilets in this game because the toilets after a diet of blueberries are going to be pretty unpleasant. Um, but they've reached a new well-being. They are happier than ever, which is wonderful. So yeah, well-being of five, which is good. Yeah, I'll absolutely take that. That's very welcome. Out they all come. Have we got that house done? Uh, yes, we have. So 11 beavers and we've got 12 housing available. So for the first time, Everybody has a house, which is brilliant. That's very good. We've only got one child now. They've obviously all grown up and stuff. No, oh, how could they grow so fast, don't they? They grow so quickly. Right, that looks more encouraging. That looks way more encouraging. Actual stuff in the fields. It look like, looks like it's growing. Uh, potatoes are only 38%, so not quite growing as quickly. How are we looking for food? Only seven berries. We've got loads of berries set up here for them to go and get, so that should... It should be okay. Let's move the path. Oh, can we get rid of that, please? Hang on. Hang on. Can we can we remove this? 
Just remove that. That that bush needs to go. Thank you very much. And then we also need to build a path into here because that is incomplete and it looks a bit silly. And then we want to not delete build. I oh, know it would be a building, wouldn't it? Yeah, we want to delete that kind of path just there because I don't think we need it. Uh, do I want to destroy it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, they just immediately vanish. Oh, okay, right, fine. That's absolutely okay. Yeah, good. So that looks a little bit sort of tidier now. And they're all going down here for a little drink. It's very good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we will have a stable food thing relatively soon. When we get these set up, um, and we need some more beavers. We need some more beavers to become adult beavers. Unless we reduce our pool of workers by one. And that means that you, there we go, look, one of the workers has gone into the carrot field. So who's that? Zernagath. Zernagath has now gone into the carrot field. Splendid. Well done, Zernagath. Good job. I was just looking through some of the items that we can build. And this looks interesting. A hauling post. It greatly assists workers within its range in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. I mean, could we build one of those just there? And where's its range? Does it have a range? Well, that covers everything at the minute. So why don't we just drop one of those in just there? We'll connect it up by a path, obviously, because I love a path. And then, yeah, that should speed everybody up when they're actually going and building stuff and moving stuff about and whatever the workers. Yeah, so it's going to help with their carrying of goods. Um, oh, no, it needs planks. Ah, right. That's never going to be finished because we need some planks. We need some woodworking going on. We need a carpenter. But the carpenter requires power. Right, I remember some of this now. Yes, it's flooding back. It's flooding back. Uh, let's clear this area down here. So let's get rid of... No, let's press the right button. Get rid of everything. So just, just destroy all those things there. Get rid. They're all running in. They're all very eager, eager beavers. So they run in, do this. There's a one thing there that needs to be dealt with, I think. Is that just a log sitting there? Um, however, how's the food looking? We've probably got just about enough berries. Oh, hang on. Did we harvest the carrots? <gasps> we are harvesting the carrots. Oh my goodness me, the carrots are being harvested. That means that people have actually got something to eat other than berries. <laughs> it's, a, it's a joyous day. I'm surprised they're not all partying around the campfire, you know, toasting carrots instead of instead of blueberries for a change. Okay, there we go. Oh, we've got lots of beavers. Lots of beavers now. There's all sorts of uh, there's child beavers now. Uh, okay, so down here then. So we want to get ourselves... Uh, we want to get ourselves that in, the carpenter, but it requires power to operate. So then we need to create some power. So a water wheel, a water wheel would make perfect sense for this kind of thing. So let's pop a water wheel just there, just in case we want to put another drinking spot down. We'll get a water wheel in just there. And is anyone running down to do it? They really are. They're very, very keen. They're very keen to get the water wheel done. Um, it needs loads of logs. 50 logs? How many have we got? Not 50 logs. Okay, right. We need to do some more cutting down of trees. Let's go. Let's get all of those done, shall we? Let's just cut everything down over here because we're going to build over here eventually. So yeah, we'll just get rid of all of those, please. Um, and we have got a new well-being score of six. A new well-being score of six. That must be because of the carrots. The carrots have caused them to be delighted. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got loads of berries. I've been looking down here, looking in our labour house, thinking, yeah, that's a storage area. But no, we've got six berries in there. But in our warehouse, we have 63 berries. And up here, we can see how much food we've actually got. There's a little kind of summary thing up here. Why didn't I notice this before? So we have 68 berries. That's the only food we've got. So all the carrots have gone. And we have no materials of any kind. I guess because all of our, um, all of our logs are immediately going down here. And the water wheel is done. It is complete. Okay, wonderful. So now we can get ourselves the carpenter in. And the carpenter... Now, how did this work? It needs to be connected in some way. I need to remember how this works. So it requires power to operate. Now, let's just pause it for a second. And then the power gets transmitted through these things, doesn't it? So they have to build these little things. And the power kind of moves through these. So let's not have it right on the edge. Because I feel like putting the carpenter right there would be a bit silly. So we'll have that going to there and then doing a special bit where it can can do something clever. Do we need a bit where it needs to connect to a building or does it just go into the side of the building? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, let's just, let's get woodworking. Let's put down a carpenter. Yeah, I don't know where it needs to fit. I don't know where that bit needs to go. I mean, if we put it there, is that going to be okay? 
Is that going to be acceptable? Or there? Or there? I don't know how that's going to work. Um, I mean, if we could put it that way, that would be ideal. That would be brilliant. And then we could have a row of things across here, maybe. That would be... Oh, that would be lovely. Can we just put that there? Maybe that'll work. We'll just, let's just give it a go. Let's just see if it does work. I mean, that requires... What do they need? Well, that's only a log. That's only one log each time, so that's fine. This might need a little bit more effort. But that's gone in. I love the way that looks. Proper little sort of wooden wheel there. And then it's powering this thing, which is obviously also wood, but it's got knobbly bits on. Now, have we got enough logs? No, we've got no materials. However, we are getting tree, uh, sort of you know, logs and trees and things from over here. So that should be fine. So yeah, it won't be too long until the carpenter's done. Okay, the logs are in and the building is almost done. And yeah, there you go. There you go. It just connects into wherever it meets the building. And then it has this special little attachment thing. So the carpenter is now ready. The carpenter is here, ready to make some planks. Okay, this is wonderful. I like this. So let's run that straight across there so we can have a path immediately going across the front. It might also make sense for us to have a warehouse over here, I would have thought. Um, let's put it, can we fit it just there? Uh, yeah, that works quite nicely. That works pretty well. Let's pop a warehouse down here then. And then that, that's looking very nice indeed. So we've got ourselves a little thing down here. Now we've got no, yeah, there's no one actually employed to work there. There's nobody employed to work there just yet, but they'll get there. And the potatoes are looking very good as well. This is looking great. Do we need more houses then? More houses to encourage more children being born possibly? Let's go for that then. Let's get a couple more houses. We'll get houses all the way up here. A little sort of street. That's quite nice. So when they wake up, they can hopefully get on with putting together some more residences. What we are going to do is, though, we are going to switch on the grill. We're going to switch the grill back on. And then we might just reduce our labour force by one. Just to see if somebody does then go and work in the grill. I would like it if somebody could work in the grill. Because that makes grill potatoes. And they keep their, yeah, they keep the hunger satisfied for a bit longer making a lovely sort of, you know, an actual hot bit of food, some warm food for the beavers. Um, yeah, how is this going to, how do we make this a priority sort of building? I want somebody to come and work in here, please. That's very important. I mean, what if we drop that down by there? What if we say, yeah, what if we do that again? Right, somebody's gone into the grill. Splendid. And somebody has gone into the carpenters. So the carpenter is now going to be actually doing some stuff. Is there one in there now? Zinjo. Zinjo is in there. Okay, Zinjo's waiting for logs. There's no logs at the moment, but that's okay. They're, they're bringing some back, but also the grill needs logs because they need something to burn to make a fire. And potatoes are going in. Potatoes are going in. Okay, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Okay, right. So materials, we've got potatoes. They're a material. So we can't even eat them raw. I assume we cannot eat the raw potatoes. Okay, we need some more. We need some more wood. We need some more wood right now. It looks to me like there's a load of wood behind these buildings. That will do the job just fine. Can, can the three remaining worker beavers <laughs> go and get that wood, please? So if we do want to get extra residences built on top of these ones and have like a sort of a high rise almost, a kind of, you know, a high rise building residence area type thing over here, they are going to need ways to actually get onto the next floor up. Because at the moment, obviously, they can't really, they can't scale the sides of the building and kind of fling themselves into the doors. So they're going to need some way of actually getting up to a sort of a higher tier. So we are going to need to start unlocking this sort of stuff. So we've got wooden stairs for 70 science points. And then we've got footbridges, a walkable on and underneath platform. And then we've got scaffolding. So you can build things on it. That is what I think we need to build things over the water, which is very exciting. But right now, to get this done, I think we need to get both the wooden stairs and the footbridges. So the footbridges will have to kind of go down the middle over the street. And then we will need a bit of wooden stairs to go, say, here. So a pair of stairs here and maybe a pair of stairs there as well. And they can kind of go round and then climb up, get onto the footbridge and then go into the houses that way. So I think we might need to start unlocking these with our science points because our beaver in here, our inventor beaver, so Illa, Illa the genius inventor beaver, has generated 117 science points. Just, you know, they've just been quietly gathering science points, just, you know, getting on with it slowly but surely. They have been creeping up. So yeah, let's get, I mean, we need both of these anyway. So let's get ourselves, yeah, we can't quite get the footbridge anyway. So we'll get wooden stairs. So yes. We'll unlock those, please. But yeah, we can't do anything with them right now. 
because yeah, that's just going to be all sorts of horrible and untidy. So what we're going to need to do is build, say, wooden stairs just here. Yeah, and I think maybe just there and just there, possibly. And then, um, and then yeah, have a footbridge, which we can't obviously select and look at, but a footbridge going across the middle like that, and they can get up onto the footbridge, go into the houses. But, uh, but right now, yeah, we're not quite there. We need 120 science points, and we've got 47. So a little way to go until we can get ourselves a footbridge. Now, our food is looking a little bit precarious. It's not looking great. We do have some grilled potatoes, but only five of them. I assume that they did make some more grilled potatoes. How many potatoes has he got in there? He's got 26 grilled... No, 26 normal potatoes, sorry, in there. So 26 regular potatoes sitting in there. He does need some more logs, but then he's making an awful lot of grilled potatoes. Oh, this is wonderful. Yes, he's making a lot of grilled potatoes. Well done, Kizzy. Good job. That's very efficient of you. There you go. Yeah, many, many potatoes. And they're doing it all themselves. They're going out and grabbing the logs and all that kind of stuff. Okay, that's very good. Oh, yeah, food's looking okay again now. Food is looking okay. And I did see that we had a plank. I assume they're putting the plank straight into there. But yes, we have ourselves a plank as well. And there we go. Look, it's working. There's a big kind of wheel thing on the top of the carpenters. And it is turning. Or it was when they were working it. So that was turning around and that was making planks. It's looking great. It's looking very good. Everyone's having a little sit round. Now they've actually got some grilled potatoes to eat as well. Loads of those. Um, how long is it until the carrots? 87 and 83. Right, so we should soon as well have a massive load of carrots to snack on too. We have three beavers with no job. Well, that's not very good, is it? Right, if we've got three spare beavers, why don't we get ourselves a second potato field in? A delicious, luxurious field of potatoes. So yeah, we'll do that. So we'll get another potato field in. We've got, we've got loads of logs. We've got loads of logs. I can easily get that sorted. So that's very, very good. And then we need to get the pathing sorted for this. And that can finally sort of come round here. I don't think, how big are they? Five on them, one, three, four, five. I don't think we can fit another one of these in, can we? One, two, three, four, five. And a path, do you know what we can? And that is perfect. So we can get another couple of fields in. Oh, that's wonderful. There we go. Right, so when we've got more people, we've got more, more people, more beavers, more lumberpunk beavers, um, then yeah, we can get another couple of fields in. But I think now carrots should be coming in. Yep, loads of carrots, got some berries, got lots of grilled potato. Food is actually looking okay. For the first time in a long while, we've got loads and loads of food. Look at that. That's very welcome indeed. Okay, right, splendid. Loads of food. I do feel like our chappy here is not really doing anything again. I do wish there was like an option to say, yeah, if there's no if there's no more food that you can work, if you can't get the required materials for the grill, then go and do another job until there's potatoes available. Um, however, the, the beavers are delighted. They are very happy. We've got some unreachable trees over here. I don't know why they're unreachable. They look like they're in the range of the thing to me. Oh, no, not quite. Not quite. Um, yeah, I extended the path out that way a bit. But yeah, I think we need to lop those bushes down before we can build the path up a bit more. And then we should be able to get to that. Um, okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And also, I extended this path down here so we can get to some more of these trees just here. Because, yeah, we are not running low, but we need logs to do lots of things. So let's get ourselves some more of those trees there as well. That's a lot of logs. That's a lot of logs. Let's go and just unmark all these unreachable trees because that's just irritating, isn't it? Let's just get rid of that. And and then yeah, at least this little sort of uh, little sort of nag message will go away. And the other potato field is done. So potato field number two is in and they are sowing it. So Pike and Shaktila are in here. So they're now looking after our second potato field, which is wonderful. We still do have two beavers with no job. So we could build another field and really really make sure that we've got plenty of food i mean we could go for more potatoes those carrot fields are growing okay but do we go for another carrot field now just to make sure just to absolutely make sure that we've got enough food and then go for another potato field and then yeah then we'll have six fields growing in the middle here which should be okay that should last us for a little while i would have thought Let's go for that, shall we? Let's make sure that those two can actually get on and do something else. Then. So we'll get them. Let's put a carrot field in. Put a carrot field just there. I mean, there's plenty of work for people to be getting on with anyway. I guess we could have put them into the labour house. But I would rather they actually had jobs that you know, were producing stuff. There's three people in the labour house. They're doing okay. They're doing okay. I mean, you know, they're getting round things eventually. How's that doing? Ah, the hauling post is done. 
The hauling post is in and two people have magically appeared inside it. How did that happen? Where did they get taken from? I don't know. We've got three people in the labour house still, but now there's two people in the hauling post. So they assist workers. Well, I don't know how. I don't know exactly what they do. I kind of guess they would have, like, they'd go around with wheelbarrows or whatever. Like little barrows to carry things with. I guess that's what they would do. But okay, so now we should see our sort of your know, hauling stuff going a little bit quicker. Oh no, of course, of course. The two that went into the hauling post were the two that were unemployed. They didn't have any jobs. But now we've built this, um, this carrot field, there's no one to work it. Because, of course, the two people that I did think, yeah, they can go work in the carrot field, have now obviously started working over here in the hauling post. Okay, okay, that's fine. At some point, at some point, somebody will work in this carrot field. It's not too much of a bother right now. I have put in another little sort of uh, drinking kind of hole thing down here, just because there was a bit of a, a... There was a point where these two were full, and somebody came down, and they had a sort of water thirst icon over the head, and they didn't look very impressed. So we've now got three of them, just just to make sure, just in case yeah, we start getting into problems because population's going up, we can have three people getting access to water at any one time. And we have ourselves 122 science points, which is very important because that means we can go here and we can unlock the foot bridges. So let's do that. So we'll unlock foot bridges. Yes, there we go. So foot bridges done. Now this comes at a pretty good time. So we want to build some more little houses for our lumberpunk beavers because we currently have two homeless adult beavers and that's not acceptable i cannot be doing with people sleeping outdoors on these little sort of mat things they need to actually be in a proper nice house so we can now get ourselves a lodge set up so we'll get one just let's get one just there why not and then we can see what's going on with this but then we can also get ourselves a footbridge so if we say get a footbridge there and a footbridge there and one just there and then we get ourselves a ladder connecting that up there's a little bit of building work for them to do but there's plenty of logs and i think the footbridges require planks we've got plenty of planks as well we've got 10 of those 11 of those indeed so i think they should be okay so are they getting on with oh they've built that first they've built the lodge first but of course nobody can get into the lodge because it's impossible they can't actually get up there they built one of the little sort of walkways second one goes in third one goes in then that's going to be our ladder when that's complete, oh, come on, somebody complete the ladder, finish it, little wooden stairs thing, sorted, now people can get in there. So we've got a little sort of stacked residential kind of area, which looks brilliant. <laughs> I do like that. I think that's a really nice touch. One thing we do need to think about is having some renewable sources of wood. Because at the moment, it's fine. There's loads of wood here. There's loads of wood over here. And we can just merrily go, yay, let's just chop all the wood down. It's absolutely fine. But then at some point, we're going to do that. And then we're going to be going, oh dear, we've actually ran out of wood. This has all gone horribly wrong. That was a silly idea. So what we need to do is we need to get in a forester. So it's going to take us 60 science points. We can't do one right now. But I was wondering where the best area is for it to go. And I was thinking, initially I thought kind of over here. But then I thought, no, we kind of want this for building and other things like that. So maybe we could put the forester over here. So get the forester just here. And then I don't know how we quite extend. Um, oh, yeah, look, it goes up there anyway. So we can build the path, say, up here to the forester. And then maybe we could put a couple of houses up here as well. But, um, but then, yes, then we can just have a forest here planting loads of trees. And then when we need to, we can just go and cut them down again. In fact, you know what? Maybe we'll have two foresters. Two foresters can live up here. And that's all we'll have up there. That's all we'll have. Just foresters living here, just uh, planting trees. Everyone else can come up, cut them down. And then that kind of makes us a little bit, a little bit sort of self-sufficient, if you like, a little bit better. I just noticed we have entirely no food. That's that's a little bit of a concern, isn't it? How long until that's done? Oh, 96%. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, we've got a hungry one there. We've got a hungry one. Can we get any of this stuff here, actually? Can we get any of that now? Uh, no, that's too far away, allegedly. But But those ones are fine. They're all fine, but those ones, no, these ones bad. Those are impossible, but those ones we can get. Okay, right, it might be quite good if we could if we could do that. And also, 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 in here, less of these. Let's have two in the hauling post. And I think we want to get some more in here. So one, two, three. I think that looks like a better, that looks like a better balance of things. I like that more. Can we cap that actually? Can we just say hauling post? I don't want you to put any more in there. I want you to stop putting things into the hauling post, please. I, 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 the next two, I'd like to go and work this field. 
I'd like two more people to go and work the carrot field, please. But uh, but yeah, more people in the Labour House means more of them running around and cutting down you know, trees and getting berries and what have you. Okay, the carrot field is ready. And that was, that was very, very well timed because we had lots of hungry beavers. And there are still hungry ones, but I think now is the last one gone and got some food. I think that's it. I think we're now okay for hunger for the moment. But of course, we're down to three berries and two carrots again. Um, so, you know, it, it looked good for a moment and their, their hunger is sort of sated for now. But yeah, it's not going to be, it's not going to last for very long. So we do need to start looking at that again and making sure we get more food. How long is that one? 98%. They're 93. They're 58. Yeah, we need some more people in this. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's drop two from here and then we can have two into there does that is that immediately going to reassign them to there yes it is splendid okay right i feel a little bit more confident then with three carrot fields and this one being done as well there we go that's looking very good and soon we'll have potatoes he's got five logs in the grill so he is absolutely ready is kizzy kizzy is ready and waiting for those potatoes to come in so well uh, yeah there we go right, i'm happy with that oh i love the way that lights up at night it looks very very pretty i do like that so uh, yeah so food's looking okay loads of logs an okay amount of planks and we've got this wonderful little sort of multi-tier structure thing just here so what i think we'll do is we'll finish up for now but we're going to come back to this because we've not really done too much we've not built on the water we've not got any stuff built on the water which i want to have a look at because yeah we can go build houses on the water if we like which also sounds brilliant and there's loads of stuff we haven't unlocked We've not unlocked large warehouses. We've got water tanks. Uh, we've got the wheat fields, so we can make bread. So we need to do all that kind of stuff. So we need to make wheat fields. Then they can uh, put the wheat into the grist mill to grind the wheat into the flour and then get the bakery to make their bread. So yeah, we've got loads of stuff to do. We've got loads of stuff. And of course, we've got these things here as well. I mean, you know, we want to get ourselves benches. We want benches. Our little, our little beavers need somewhere to have a little sit down and how, you know, put, put up their little beaver feet and have a rest. And we've got shrubs and things like that. A gable roof, a gable roof. We can just pop gable roofs on all of the houses, can we? Well, the flat the flat houses, obviously, the ones that have not got another house on top. Oh, okay, that's interesting. And there's monuments as well. So um, the labor monument, the flame of progress. That sounds very awesome. Two and a half thousand science points. Yeah, we might be waiting a while for that. And that's 8,000 science points. <laughs> Eight thousand science points the moment we've got 26 we're a little way off from getting the tribute to ingenuity do you know what though we could set one of these as our ultimate goal because i think we get science points from we set up books and stuff don't we i can't quite remember exactly how it works but yeah we set up sort of uh there's books and they consume books to turn it into more science points i can't remember exactly right now we'll come to it next time have a look but yeah it'd be very nice if we could get one of these bigger monument things in I think that will be quite a nice sort of, yeah, that's that's something to aim for. That's a goal that we can try and, you know, strive to get. But uh, but yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Because yeah, we will indeed finish up for the moment. Hopefully you have enjoyed this little dip back into Timberborn. I very much hope you have. Because yeah, it's been lovely playing it. It's nice to see how it's changed. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Timberborn. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.